Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how to integrate Google Sheets with Forms in React. Let's say you have your portfolio website and there is a form which let your visitors to send you messages, maybe inquiring about your services and you want to store that data in Google Sheets. So that's what we are going to do in this video. And for that we will use uh, no code API which will connect Google Sheets to our application. So go to nocodeapi.com and register your account and start with a free plan. And they have uh, different plans but uh, you can start with free plan. So I already have an account so I am going to log in. So here I am on my dashboard and at first there will be no active applications for you. So go to view marketplace and you will have to activate this Google Sheets. Now we will create a Google Sheet and go with blank one and give it any name. and from here you will have to grab the sheet id you will find the sheet id after spreadsheet slash d slash and then sheet id copy it and in no code api click on google sheets go to make google sheets api here we are going to create a new sheet form so give it any name and here we will provide our sheet id which we copied so this is the end point to which we will send request now here i am in my project and this is just a form with heading and three input fields name email and message let me show you the form so this is the form there are three fields name, email and message. So let's first create a state. And there will be three fields name which will be empty string at first email message and here we will provide a handle change so here we are targeting the values by name so this is name this one is email and the last one is uh, message so let's add value uh, actually let's just destructure name email and message from data and let's add an on change and we will point to handle change function this will be email and the last one will be message now as it is form let's add an on submit and we will define a function name handle submit here And here we will say e dot prevent default to stop the form submission. Now here we will make request. So let's add a try catch block because I will be using async await. Okay. 
response equals to await fetch and here we will provide the endpoint which will be this one so let's copy this one you can use environment variable for this to store this endpoint but for this project I will not be using environment variable and after this endpoint we will have to mention the tab ID so tab ID will be let me show you this will be the tab ID so right now it's sheet 1 so we will say tab ID equals to sheet 1 method will be post headers content type application json and then body so for body we will have to provide the data in form of 2d array that's how no no code api works so we will say json dot stringify and here we will provide 2d array so the first field will be name email message so let's add date also to know when the message was sent and before we move any further let's go to the sheet and here we will have to provide headers so first one will be name email message date time now after that let's await response.json and then clear the form fields all right so here what we did we made we are making request to this endpoint and after that we are providing tab id in the query parameter so the method is post headers application json and body and no code api accepts 2d array so in 2d array we stringify the 2d array and provide it in our data so let's test it out okay so it's submitted let's see our sheet so this is the data name email message and the date and time field and if you go here you will see in usage no at least in, in logs so this is the request we just made let's try another request So that's here our here is the second message. 
so that's how we can integrate google sheet with form uh, through no code api i hope you like this video thank you